Let's get across uh, to the Congress headquarters in the national capital where uh, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi has reached the Congress headquarters to file his nomination for the party president's post. Those are the live visuals that we are showing to you coming in straight from the Congress headquarters there. He's also standing next to uh, former Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit and several other Congress leaders there present uh, at this point in time, their Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi filing his nomination papers for party president's post today. Prashant joining us over the phone line. Prashant, we are getting to see those visuals coming in from the Congress headquarters. Rahul Gandhi, a very uh, pleased Rahul Gandhi there. Of course, we are seeing uh, all set to file his nomination for the party's uh, president's post. Absolutely a big day in the history of the Grand Old Party where you have the transitional change actually happening in the party after 20 long years. Sonia Gandhi remained the president of the Congress Party for 20 long years and now her son Rahul Gandhi is also set to file his nominations today. And on 11th is the day when there's the last day of pulling that denomination. So on that particular date it will be clear if there are any more nominations. But what we are given to believe from our top sources inside the Congress Party no one actually would come out and file his nomination opposite Rahul Gandhi. So, in a way, Rahul Gandhi becomes the president immediately after he files the nomination papers today. And we have seen a marathon run, actually, from Rahul Gandhi starting since morning, where he first, where first Sonia Gandhi drove to his house, and from there on, he went to residences of former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, former President Pranam Mukherjee, then to Rajghat, and now to AIG headquarters, where everything is all set, and 11.30 is the time when Rahul Gandhi will be filing his nominations. Some 90 nominations would be filed in his favor and four major nominators are Sonia Gandhi, Banuhan Singh, Pranam Mukherjee and A.K. Antony. Someone on the behalf of A.K. Antony will of course file his nomination because A.K. Antony is hospitalized in a private Delhi hospital. But yes, it's a very important day for the Congress party and there you have Rahul Gandhi on your screen reaching the AICC headquarters. Absolutely, Prashant. Also, throw some light on what does this really mean for the Congress Party. As you mentioned, nearly after two decades, would there be a change of guard in terms of the Congress President Rahul Gandhi, all set to now uh, become the new president? Uh, as you mentioned, uh, in all probability, there's going to be no rebellion uh, with regards to his uh, succession there. But what happens here on? And throw some light on the significance of uh, this change of guard, really, for the party. So the change of guard is happening at a very important time. Now the Congress is at its all-time low, depleting virtually from every other state. State after state elections were held since 2014, and the Congress has seen itself on a difficult ground. So it will be a really uphill task for Rahul Gandhi to work on the grassroots level to strengthen the already a bit, you know, already down cadre because the cadre has not seen any victory, and that has in fact let them down. So it will be really a tough job for Rahul Gandhi actually to work on ground to ensure that the party gets back on winning streak. And we are seeing some sort of efforts really coming in from Rahul Gandhi. When you look at him, you know, campaigning in the state of Gujarat, the kind of aggressive campaign he has been able to put forward. Never have I seen Rahul Gandhi so aggressive in the past. In fact, his political career spans around 15 years. He started his career uh, in uh, 2004 when he became the MP from Amethi. So he has never been this aggressive, but yes, it is the right time for Rahul Gandhi to take over, is what the pollsters are believing. But the massive task for Rahul Gandhi would be to gel together with all the senior leaders where Congress has been a grand old party. There have been grand old leaders with massive strong base, massive public base in the, on the ground. So Rahul Gandhi, as the president, will have to ensure that no one gets deflected, no one goes to other party, because we have seen a stream of leaders actually trying to jump the ship and uh, taking the saffron coat. So this will be perhaps the biggest job for Rahul Gandhi and people getting together would be something that would be music to his ears and for that he'll have to work really, really hard.